the right gear and setup for staying productive. Looking after your health is important, but you can also see considerable boosts in your happiness and productivity by looking at your tech and setup. The right hardware. One tip that I absolutely recommend to all internet marketers, bloggers, and other internet entrepreneurs is to invest in good technology. When you're an internet marketer, you're essentially a one-man or woman band. That means that you are the business. Your passion projects are your R&D, and your equipment is your main computer. If you are working on a machine that takes five minutes to boot up, that gets hot even when it is under even a minor workload and that regularly crashes, then you absolutely must upgrade. You'll save a huge amount of time by having a computer that springs instantly to life. And you avoid those painful moments where your computer crashes, and you lose all that work you've been doing. But the reasons to invest in good tech go way beyond that. They extend to the simple fact that good tech is more pleasant and enjoyable to work on. When I upgraded to the Dell XPS 15, I suddenly had a 4K screen, a blazing fast i7 processor with the GPU, a comfortable keyboard, and typing experience. All this made such a difference to my enjoyment of work. And that, in turn, began to be reflected in the work. I worked better because I enjoyed what I was doing more, and because I could run more software more easily than before, more options became available. Building a productive home office. If you work from home, then you're likely to have found that remaining productive and maintaining focus are two of the biggest challenges you face on a day-to-day -day basis. For some reason, we find it harder to work when we're not actually at work. And this often results in our mind wandering, or us finding procrastination in all kinds of places. One of the best ways to counter this effect is to design a home office that encourages focus, and that we actually want to work in. If you're working from your own home, then you'll have far more freedom in what you can do with your office space, and you should really take advantage of this fact. At the same time, if you work this way full time, then you're probably going to spend the actual majority of your life at your desk. And/or in your office, and as such, you should make the most of it by making it as nice as it can be. This will not only improve your quality of life, but will also ensure that you are as productive as you can be and always doing your best work. Firstly, then, make sure that you don't cut any corners and that you're willing to spend a fair amount on your office to make it as nice as possible. The first place to invest this money is in a new desk, and this will have the biggest impact on your work. The desk should fit with the decor of the room, but at the same time, make you feel professional and be something you want to show off. Sitting at your desk should feel like manning a spaceship, and if it does, then you will feel good about yourself when you work, which will rub off on the quality and quantity of the work you do. The hallmarks of a good desk are to have as many compartments as possible, to have lots of space for working on, and for having or being a part of at least one right angle. The compartments are important, as they'll mean you don't have to keep getting up to get things. At the same time, they just feel organized. And if you feel organized, then your brain will automatically be more organized in the way it stores and processes information. By right angle, I meant that when you sit at your desk, you should have a surface in front of you to work from, and a surface to your left or right. The best options will also have a third surface behind you or to the other side. Or it will have multiple layers in front. On these different layers, you should then organize multiple work or information stations. That means multiple computers or at least multiple monitors. It means lots of places to store ring binders, filing cabinets, and folders. And it means lots of places for you to write shorthand notes to yourself. If your desk doesn't come with all these things, then you can use other smaller tables, cabinets, and shelving arrangements, all within reach. The reason that this is so important. Is that it allows you to work on multiple things at once. For example, you can have one monitor for writing a document, while you have another monitor in charge of showing you the relevant information you need to work on. Alternatively, you could have one of your monitors or computers taking care of your email, so that you don't have to keep checking an explorer every two minutes. Meanwhile, you might want to have a work zone for jotting notes, which will mean you can jot things down as they come to you. By the same token. Simply having this many different work zones is another way to make yourself feel professional, and with lots of lights and screens surrounding you, you'll feel on top of things as though you have all the information you need to tackle anything that comes up, and can multitask if necessary.
This concept of work zones is the same one that's used in kitchens and is a great way to stay on top of your work. Another good item to have among these things is a notice board. This will go on the wall behind all of your surfaces and will be the place to pin up things that you need to remember, which will improve your productivity by preventing you from sitting idly for ages while you rack your brain for what it was you were meant to be doing. Well, this will all look very slick, you should avoid making it look too cold. And a few simple distractions such as desk toys, a cat's cradle, solitaire, etc., etc., can be a great way to prevent yourself from getting more distracted by worse things such as Facebook. And if you choose them well, then they will add to the decor of your work environment. Finally, amongst all this, you should have a swivel chair, which will allow you to spin from one work zone to another without getting up and to reach all of your storage to get whatever it is that you need. Again, it will also help create that feeling of being at a high-tech workstation and having everything that you need right at your fingertips. And this will mean you feel on top of everything and appropriately effective. My number one tip. My number one tip for boosting productivity and happiness as an internet marketer, though, is to head to coffee shops. In a coffee shop, you get a change of scenery to prevent cabin fever. You are watched meaning you can't just slack, and you keep your work and private lives nicely separate. The background chatter of cafe patrons and the smell of coffee all add to a highly productive state of mind. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.